How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video. Now, it's back to school period and I've been on the market looking for a decent laptop that's not going to cost me a lot of money and still give me a lot of bang for my buck. Guys, this is the HP Omen DC1001NA. I know, mouthful. But without further chat, without further ado, let me show you what you get inside the box and talk to you more about the specifications and show you the performance as well. It's quite impressive. Let's have a look. So inside the box, you get your power cable, you get a user manual as well, just to help you get started very quickly. On the right side of the laptop, you get a power port, a USB port, and a light indicator light, a drive indicator light as well, so you, you can see that on the side. And on the left side of the laptop, you get USB port, audio out, so headphone, audio in, microphone combo jack. You got audio in, microphone jack as well. And you've also got a memory card reader. So if you want to be editing stuff from a memory card from your camera, you can plug it straight into the laptop and you're good to go. On the back, you have more ports as well. So you have your Ethernet port, you have a USB port, HDMI, USB-C, and a security cable slot as well. So you can lock it down. So imagine you're in a lecture theater and you want to go for, to the toilet very quickly. You can't trust anyone. You can still lock the laptop down so it's nice and secure. You'll also notice a big vent on the back as well. This is to keep things very cool. And this is very good as well. It looks very gamer centric as well. I like the design on the back and that carbon fiber sort of finishing on the lid as well, which is pretty cool. On the front, you have a webcam up top there. So if you want to do things like Skype, whatever, you'd be able to do that with this gaming laptop. You can also use that for streaming as well. If that's what, if that's the kind of thing that you do, if you stream online, you'd be able to stream your game and use that webcam to capture yourself as well. So this has got Bang & Olufsen sound system. So it sounds really good. Uh, something that I really like. And the, the display itself is a full HD IPS display and it's 144 Hertz refresh rate. Again, I'll show you guys that in a second when it comes to performance and what that actually looks like for you. We've got the power button there, which also lights up and you've got a full RGB keyboard, which is really cool. You got the Omen key, which is something that anyone has used an Omen laptop before. You'll be able to know, you know what that is. It allows you to modify performance, change the keyboard lighting as well, and so much more, which is pretty cool. The, key, the keypad here has got dedicated buttons uh, for the left and right uh, clicks. Again, for someone who's going to be gaming on this, myself, I'm going to be using uh, a controller. So I don't know if this is something that I would actually bother too much about. But if you get a controller with it, even much better. But if you don't, this works really well as well. The keyboard as well, it's got nice travel. It feels nice and clicky. For gaming, I really like it. You'll also notice on the keyboard that the WASD buttons have that line around it to give you that sense of gaming. So maybe every time you look at a laptop, all you'd want to do is just game looking at those buttons. Who knows? Elsewhere, you get 8 gig of RAM, DDR4 RAM in there. You got 256 gig of internal storage, that's SSD, and a combination of one terabyte hard drive as well. So you can store everything else on the hard drive and things that you want to access very quickly, you can put them on the SSD drive. In terms of performance, what I did was load up Forza Horizon 4 on here. And as you can see here, we're getting 72 frames per second on average with optimal settings. And that's thanks to that NVIDIA RTX 2060 dedicated graphics card that's in there. First impressions, really good in terms of gaming experience. Sound system's good. Battery life is good even when it's unplugged as well. Although I would leave it plugged in whenever you need to do a long prolonged period of times of gaming. I know this is a gaming laptop, but since it's back to school period, you can also use this to do your work. So again, all work and no play. You know what to say. So for around a thousand pounds, this is a great gaming laptop. And shout out to NVIDIA and box.co.uk, which is where you can pick this up as well. There's a link in the description area to where you can get that from and also a discount code. So you'll be able to save some money going back to school on a gaming laptop. The other two things that really matters to me when gaming on a gaming laptop is how hot it gets. This doesn't really get hot at all, which is quite impressive. And also the weight as well. So if you're gonna be carrying this around, popping it in your bag to go to university or whatever, it's got a decent weight to it as well. So as you can see, I'm actually holding it with one hand, just hardly anything to it. So popping this in your bag, you're good to go. There's no issues there at all. Anyway, guys, do let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask as well. All relevant links will be in the description area. But in the meantime, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification as well so you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a video on this channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.